I'm Luke from Art Cyclery. Just as you wouldn't go for a ride without a helmet, you should never go for a ride without a few key items that are going to help your enjoyment, help you ride longer, help you ride harder. Starting with nutrition and hydration, you're going to want at least one water bottle on your ride. Uh, very often you'll use two or more water bottles. Usually you'll have one water bottle filled with regular water. The other water bottle you'll fill with some type of sports drink. We really like Cytomax works very well. There are a lot of other drinks out there that'll help you ride longer and keep you effectively hydrated as well. Next, you're gonna need some food or some energy to ingest out there as well. Uh, it's a good idea to take along a bar or two. These are by Bonk Breaker. We really like these. They're all natural, they taste great. Uh, you're gonna wanna have a gel or two to take with you as well. The gel is just a quick hit of energy, lasts anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes. It's a good idea on longer rides to keep a steady intake of gel and then maybe a bar every hour or so. Okay, so water uh, and energy bars. Next, we're gonna look at some tools and some other items that you're gonna need out there. All right, so eventually, you're going to get a flat out there and you're gonna need to be able to fix it. So the basic items you need to carry with you on a ride are a spare tube, some type of patch kit. The first flat you get, you can just throw the new tube in there. If you get two or more flats, you're gonna need to patch the, the tube. Uh, you have a choice between a glue patch kit or a glueless patch kit. You can see the glueless patch kit takes up a lot less room. The glue patch kit is a little bigger, so that's something to think about. With the glueless, all you do is scuff up the tube, peel off the patch, stick it on there. Uh, you have a pretty good retention rate. They last, you know, I would say 50 to 75% of the time you'll get a permanent uh, seal on your tube. The glue patch kits have a much greater success rate, but it does take longer to affix the patch to the tube. So if you're on a ride and everyone's trying to hammer and get home quickly, uh, you might just want to carry a glueless patch kit with you. So once you get your tube patched, you need to inflate it. There's a couple ways to do that. Uh, I really like, especially on road bikes, the CO2 system. Um, it's instantaneous. It's effortless, uh, and that's basically what the advantages are. So you're going to carry a CO2 cartridge with you. My friends make fun of me because I always carry three or four. Uh, you have some type of head or the delivery system, which screws onto the CO2 cartridge. The CO2 cartridge then goes onto the valve stem, twist, push or some other means of delivery and your tube instantly inflates to the uh, desired pressure and you're ready to go. So CO2 systems are really easy. Uh, they don't take up much room. The drawbacks are you always have to have CO2 cartridges with you and then once they're empty you have to make sure you throw them out. Obviously the other way to go is a hand pump. This is a nice Lazine Carbon Road Drive 2 pump, nice and light. Uh, the benefits of using a hand pump instead of a CO2 system are you don't have to worry about having cartridges with you. Uh, you get an unlimited amount of tire inflations with this. If you get a nice light one like this, you're really not going to notice it on your bike. Most of them will have some kind of bracket that mounts under your water bottle cages to affix it to your bike. Uh, it does take a lot longer and it requires a lot more effort to inflate your, tire, your tubes by hand. But, you know, you can get your upper body workout that way as well. Moving on, you're going to need a pair of tire levers. These are the alloy tire levers from Lazine. Nice and light, nice and tough. You're going to need these to pry the tire off of your rim if you get a flat. And it's a good idea to have some type of multi-tool with you as well in case you have to make some seat post adjustments, some shifting adjustments, anything like that. Uh, for a road ride, I like something real light and compact like this. This is a real nice tool from Lazine. And of course you're going to need something to keep all of this stuff in. This is the Micro Caddy M, or sorry, Micro Caddy S from Lazine. I really like the way this bag is designed, real low profile, easy to use. And this is going to go underneath your saddle. If you could see in here, there's little pockets to fit the tire levers in. There's a pocket on the other side that your uh, patch kit goes in. 
Then you would stuff your tube in the middle. And most design packs have this exterior pocket for your multi-tool. If you're the type of rider who likes to really take it all with you when you go on a ride, you can get a larger seat bag. This is the L Caddy from Lazine. It's got lots of pockets, and you can see it's a lot bigger than the Micro Caddy. So you've got a top pocket here. Uh, you've got a large pocket here where there's room for your phone, for your keys. You could stuff your arm warmers in there if you needed to. So you have lots of options. Finally, a very convenient way to keep track of your stuff is to use a stem bag. Uh, the stem bag mounts on the top tube of the bike right behind the stem and sits right here. You can open up the flap, you can keep your gels inside, you can keep your phone in there. It's all very easy to access. And if you're a real minimalist, there's one more way that you can carry all your gear and that is your cycling jersey. Three pockets in the back of the cycling jersey are made to stuff your arm warmers, your base layer when it gets warm, uh, your spare tube, all the stuff I've shown you, there's room for all that back here. So that's a nice pro looking way to carry all your stuff. So that is how to outfit your road bike. Let's take a look at what you're going to need for a mountain ride now. Now you can apply the same thinking to your mountain bike rides, especially if they're shorter, uh, on rides where it's going to be less than an hour or if I don't feel like I need to wear armor protection, I'll just use a saddlebag, just like I showed you. Uh, this is the Micro Caddy M from Lazine, a little bit bigger. It's made to carry a mountain tube. Same design. I'll show you what I have in here. You've got room for your multi-tool on the bottom. Here's another CO2 system. This one works real well. Notice I have a larger CO2 cartridge here. That's to fill up bigger mountain bike tires. Uh, you've got your tire levers, and you've got your mountain tube in here. As well, I have a Lazine glueless patch kit. So this is kind of the compact, short ride, least intrusive way to go on a mountain bike. Now, the cool thing about mountain biking is it's a lot more acceptable to ride with a hydration pack which is good, you can carry a lot more gear, you can carry a lot more water. It's also bad because you end up carrying a lot more gear. So let me show you what I have in mind and you can make, your, make up your own mind on what you need to carry. So this is my drafter bag by Dekan. Uh, I'll show you what I have in here. If you're the type of guy who likes to be, feel protected, wear armor on some of your trails, there's lots of room for that. You can stash your elbow guards on the bottom there. Uh, you can open up this pouch, which is actually made to carry a helmet, uh, but I use it to carry my 661 Kyle straight knee guards. And finally, let's take a look at what's inside the pack here. Cool thing about the drafter pack is that it opens pretty flat. So if you're on the trail, you can see all your stuff laid out really easily. So for a mountain ride, you're going to need, obviously, a multi-tool, a tire lever, take your tires off, some glueless patches, some more uh, patch stuff in there. Uh, you have room to carry a separate chain tool in case you do break a chain. Having one of these is real nice. Uh, you know, the ones that come on multi-tools are adequate, but it is nice to be able to have a real chain tool like this where you can really torque on it. Got some extra chain links. That's a Torx wrench for my disc brake rotors. You probably never need. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff, duct tape. You always need duct tape. Extra buckle. And this is a master link for a chain as well. On this side, uh, you've got room to carry first aid stuff. I've got an ace bandage in here in case anyone needs it. Here's my extra tube. You're always gonna need a tube. Let's see, I've got a shock pump in here. So you can see having a hydration pack is really nice because you have room to put whatever you need for any situation you're gonna find. Just as good as duct tape or zip ties, you can never have too much of that stuff. They don't weigh anything and they're coming handy. And you've got your hand pump in here as well. It's the design alloy drive. 
Uh, there's also plenty of room for a CO2 system in here if you want to go that route. So that's it for the basic accessories. You've got your new bike. Don't forget to get the proper tools that will allow you to have the most fun you can have on it. If you have questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, or if you're wondering about stuff you might need, give us a call at Art Cyclery. Go online at www.artcyclery.com. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.